So she's, uh, in terms of rallying late, it's, it's very doubtful unless she gets awfully lucky. And again, if Clampett gets stupid, but Clampett's felt her punching power and says she just doesn't have the fireworks to hold her off. A lot of blood on the, uh, blood from, uh, look at the cut up on the uh, forehead of Clampett. So it must have been a headbutt there. Oh, yeah. She's cut around the hairline, which typically isn't as serious, but you got to keep that blood flow out of her eyes so maybe she could feel that blood and fight with even more urgency, I suppose. I'll tell you what, it put a little bit, it put a little bit of hope and faith into Mia St. John. I think so. Yeah, she saw the blood, she threw some more punches, threw flurried out, but through all oh, that, through the blood, badly. through the blood, she's still chucking punches, she's still throwing bombs. Oh, this is a nasty cut, but wouldn't it, wouldn't, uh, well, you think that Clampett would really pick it up if she tastes it, her own blood, literally? It, Look at her face. It's a mask of red. It's not going to stop Jamie Clampett. But I would think it would rev her up even more, saying, i got to finish this woman right now. Doctor's going to have a look. No. It was from a no head. No doubt butt, a head obviously. clash. Yeah, you no doubt. The punches don't do that, no. typically. A, a soft glove doesn't do that. So Mia in front of us in a neutral corner while they have a close look. Come on, let him clean it up, put some Vaseline on it, and let her fight. It's on top of her head, it's fine. Come on, Doc, what are you doing? I gotta tell you, Mia St. John in front of us, you can see Clampett's blood splattered all over her body, arms, no. legs. Wait a minute here, I don't like what I'm seeing. Well, they're not allowed really to wipe it off, I suppose, and she's some massive Good. red. Look at the face. Uh, Jamie Clampett, and she is trying to close it out now big Ooh. time. Really going for it. And the referee, well, it's the end of the round. Referee stopped him from going on, but Mia was backing up before the bell. Huge, huge round again for Jamie Clampett, but situation turned. Let's watch that cut and the work on it in the corner. And Vinny, you're right, it is high in the forehead, indicating it was a headbutt. They'll take care of it in the corner. They're already and she'll come out. Shut up. Two rounds left. You're not. You can't take it away from this girl. Right, fine. No, no, you're fine. This is too much better. Watch the heads. Watch the heads. She's, she's bleeding already. No, no, we missed it. It was a little earlier than that. Yeah, could have been, yes. But more head contact, it looked like. And as we looked at the corner of Clampett, and again, with the unified rules of boxing, you would go to the cards, of course, uh, and clearly Clampett's in control. But will Mia St. John finish on her feet? I think that's the question right now. Let's see if that blood has been contained. The bleeding has apparently been stopped. So good work by the uh, corner of Jamie Clampett. And she's coming out, as we use the phrase, again, stalking with real intent. Look at her going for it. She drives. St. John back. You know, Let's not, see. not the, the head itself is like a weapon. It, the skull is very hard. And but Mia's now, coming forward, uh, well, Vinny. Mia's, Mia's trying to open that cut up again to see if she can get the fight so. stopped. But both, both fight, the skull is an, an important tool because it's, it's like a hammer. But now when you put the dreads on it like both girls have, Leading it again. Gets, it gets even nastier. Well, we got a minute 20 to go, and these these are two-minute rounds, and that will help Clampett because they're going to have to stop the flow of blood after this eighth. Jamie has seen too many of my fights to let this blood stop her. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot of your fights. They're good things. And here we see Mia trying to mug Clampett in the corner, and Clampett just shrugging it off and throwing St. John backwards. Now Clampett and Wild really going for broke here. Well, she is dancing a little bit out of danger, holding on. I'm not quite sure what Clampett's strategy in. is. Again, Vinny, I would think when you start tasting your own blood, you want to finish your opponent off, especially when you've dominated. But she seems to be getting a little cautious. Maybe she's slightly tired. She's thrown a lot of punches, sure has. a lot of big punches. No, Mia, Mia's roughing her up a little bit just by pressing her. But, you know, Jamie's in control of this fight, blood or no blood. Has Mia won a round, in your opinion? I know. No, she hasn't. She's so been very competitive. Dire. Yeah, things don't look good. Wrapping up the eighth of a scheduled 10 rounder, and St. John's had her moments in this round, but far too little, and it's getting late.
Wow. Crowd on its feet for Jamie Clampett. As we go up now to Phil Burton, our third man. All right, thanks a lot, Nick. You had a chance to spar with her to prepare for this fight. What do you like? Did you see what you like out of her right now? Well, right now, uh, Jamie's training with my my trainer, Kurt Reeder. And I, I see a big improvement in her. I see her with the same type of style that, that I fight. And, 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 I, and I say that by her punching power. She's learning how to sit down on her punches, turn them over, and really crack. You know, how frustrating is it though when you do get when you're winning a fight and you do get cut and it's gonna get called? It's it's a scary situation. I was in the same situation my last fight. I, I cut I got a cut in the first round with a headbutt. So if they if they called it, it would be a technical draw before four rounds. After four rounds it goes a scorecard. In the second round I got cut with a punch. So that means if they stop the fight, the other guy wins the fight. So I, you know, I was nervous, and thank God I had a good cut, man, because that's very important in this business that can make or break the fight. Hey, thanks a lot for your time. Thanks for stopping by. Nick, back to you, bud. Okay, we go to the ninth round here. The blood stopped uh, again, but it's probably only temporary. It's a big gash, but it's in a good spot. Two rounds left, Nick. Four minutes of fighting, and so far, this has been a real worthy fight for a headline bout, a world championship women's fight, and, you know, I like it. I like it. Jimmy Birchfield is getting criticized for putting this as the main bout to women. Oh, come on. Great Crowd's fight. been on its feet half the time. Of course, Clampett with the local rooting interest behind her. She's lived here in Providence uh, since 2002. She's a former Canadian Amer amateur champion. So her solid foundation really showing through. We should point out it's late in the fight, but St. John really had, she learned on the job as a pro. She had no amateur experience. And believe me, I think Clampett looks like the much more technically sound fighter. So matching them up, it's been Jamie all the way. Oh, Clampett, a little bit of blood beginning to trickle from that cut high on her forehead. And Mia St. John coming forward here, trying to, I think, as you said earlier, open that up a little bit more. Look at Mia, how tough she is. She keeps coming. She, she keeps does. coming. I'll She's give her got, that. Jamie's blasting her, hitting her with some hard shots. She keeps coming. That's a tough woman. There's two tough women in the ring right now. Oh, Jamie, nice flurry. Oh, nice right hand by Jamie. Mia's trying. She's trying for a big punch. She's going to need a big miracle here. Oh, the blood again, but it's been contained. One to go. Good body shot. Hammered from uh, Clampett as St. John comes out and tells the crowd I'm still very much in this as she as we see what happens in the corner now with Jamie Clampett and that cut. Two minutes to a world title. Okay, it looks like we might see the headbutt here. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That, when they were inside together, the heads are banging. It's not from a punch, it was from, from a clash of heads. You know, so if it had to go to the scorecards, Jamie wins the fight, but it's not gonna go to the scorecards because of a cut. This is gonna make it to the distance. Because Mia St. John is not gonna be knocked out in this fight. She's too tough of a woman. And, and, and Jamie's not gonna be stopped because she's too tough of a woman. I am so glad I'm not married to either one of these women. <laughs> You'd have to be on your best behavior, which is oh, impossible for impossible. you. Impossible. <laughs> Last round. Well, you could propose after the fight. If you <laughs> Mia coming forward, full of gut, full of heart, but being just outslugged, outgunned here by Jamie Clampett. Clampett playing to the crowd a little bit. She better keep her mind on business. There's Ooh. no reason to do that, but she is one happy fighter here, yeah, knowing her, that she has dominated this fight. Let us show out a little, Nick. Okay. Come on, she's got the cut, she's bleeding, she's still winning, let us show she's out. She's smiling now, too. What would I tell you, though? It always works out that way. Yeah. The one with the better outfit wins the fight. <laughs> Mia, 39 years old and hanging tough, hanging on here. Real tough. But unable to make any kind of a 